welcome back to my channel. My name is Layla Saad. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please make sure you are subscribed if you are not subscribed. Hello, welcome. How are we doing? I'm doing, um, I'm on some day of Vlogmas. I don't know which one it is. Um, I'm lost in the sauce, you know, just... My Vlogmas has been different than a lot of people's Vlogmas because I'm not really doing vlogs, which is just like my day because you would all be very bored right now um so i've been trying to do like fun things different ideas and today i am doing a sweatshirt like a hoodie collection type video except i'm gonna like show you kind of like how i style them or give some inspo. I don't know exactly where I'm going with it, but like my hoodie collection, hoodie style and style inspo, like, you know, um, because I have a lot of freaking sweatshirts. I'm not even going to show all of them to you because some of them are just like very random, but I literally have probably like 25 sweatshirts, which is, um, a lot of sweatshirts especially since I used to have more, so that's alarming. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I figured I will just start us off and we can get the ball rolling. <laughs> Here is my long Nike zip up. I just got it and I absolutely love it. Um, there's two zippers, the bottom and on the top. Um, I, if I had a bra, a top on, I would unzip it, but you can leave it open, you can zip it up. Um, the way that I have it styled right now is simply just with leggings, some socks, and some Nikes, um, but definitely toss on. <laughs> toss on a Nike hat kind of look like a really cute soccer mom <laughs> and then for like winter my long coat this is my grandma actually got me this from Land's End so <laughs> do with that what you will but so like this I wish it went further back so you could see but I need to go <laughs> My next hoodie is this one from Ritzia. I talked about it in some of my other videos, but I just got it and I'm really obsessed with it. It's super, super comfortable. The hood is like perfect hood. I don't know how to explain it, but it's like thick and soft. Um, but I just have it with like a bralette, top under it, leggings, um, and then you can make any sneakers. But also, the other way that I would style this is with some baggy jeans. So I will throw that on and show you the fit. Um, so simply just oversized sweatshirt with these baggy jeans. I know that I can't tilt this or it'll fall. Um, but so baggy jeans and then just some like white sneakers. I don't know, I just think this is like a perfect, like just chill, go for coffee, go for the store, walking around, chilling. I just got these um, white Jordans on Poshmark for like 40 bucks. So I'm pretty pumped about it. So this is like this style and then I'll show you another sweatshirt because I'll style it like a similar way, so. All right, so again, this sweatshirt, baggy sweatshirt with these jeans and white sneaks. Just super um, chill. I got this sweatshirt in a giveaway from Scars, S-K-A-R. I talk about it in one of my videos. Um, I'm wearing it in another video, but I just got it and I really fuck with it. So I will tag the Instagram um, below, but it just has like a lot of cool little detailing on it. So like I just feel like baggy jeans is kind of like the vibe <laughs> that I get from the sweatshirt. So this is one. So then I have this hoodie from H&M. It's a chocolate brown hoodie. It's from the men's department, <laughs> but it's super comfortable. The material is like kind of like caught, like very cottony. Um, so it kind of reminds me of like a talentless sweatshirt, but obviously cheaper. 
Um, but I have the matching sweatpants, also from the men's department. <laughs> But they're super comfortable in the beginning of this season i was like i want a chocolate brown sweat set but i couldn't find them anywhere and they definitely like got popular over the course of the season but at the time i wanted them they weren't popular yet so i'm a trendsetter i tossed on these white jordans and then this is like my favorite coat and i think that they just look really good together <laughs> so yeah, so it's like like an oversized. It's like got a brown, brown detailing on it. Um, so I just think that it goes really well. So like a super oversized jacket with a sweatsuit, white sneakers. I could definitely like rock a hat with this. Um, so hat on, <laughs> sneaks. I like definitely would wear this literally anywhere. It's so comfortable, and I love to be comfortable but it's still like cute and trendy. So I feel like I could like walk around Newbury Street or wherever, just in the foot. <laughs> so chocolate brown sweatshirt. And then if I wanted to, if I wanna like soccer mom this sweatshirt up, I'll show you how I wear it. So I just threw on these chocolate brown leggings from Everlane, which I really love. I didn't put on sneakers, <laughs> but then I have this puffer vest, which I got from Zara, which I really love. It's like another one of those things. I just like knew I wanted one. I didn't see like anyone wearing one or anything, but I was like, I just want like a vest. Um, and I like the maxi style of it, but it does give me like send the soccer mom vest. So, um, but I think it looks cute with like some white sneakers. Um, also in a similar outfit is this sweatshirt. Um, this is from Girl Knows All. It's I think Miss Jocelyn's company. Um, I'll tag her, but this sweatshirt, <laughs> I'm like winded from trying on all these sweatshirts. Um, this is one of my favorite sweatshirts actually. I wish there was an easier way for me to like record. So I saw this sweatshirt online and I had to buy it. I was like, there's no chance I don't get it because it's like a New Hampshire sweatshirt and it's a UK company. And like, I feel like you always see, see things with like Los Angeles or like New York or Miami or whatever, but you never see them like New Hampshire. So it was, it was a done deal. As soon as I saw it, I was like, yes. This is happening, and it's actually one of my favorite sweatshirts. It's so freaking like lightweight and comfortable, and I wash it, and it has like a washed look to it. But I think it's perfect, and I love to wear it with um, like a this flannel, the jacket I have. So I don't know, the colors just like go together. Sometimes I wear like a white turtleneck underneath. It's like a really good. Um, layering sweatshirt so like kind of like some people like to wear like collared shirts or like turtlenecks but i wear it with a jacket white sneakers and we are ready to rock and roll but it also looks good with my vest because they're cream colored <laughs> what's next <laughs> okay so i decided to like show it the turtleneck under um so this is the new sweatshirt i got it says becoming on it um i believe she's a poet but Oh my god. <laughs> um, her name's at Rainbow Salt and she writes like really cute like little poetry and stuff like that. And my friend Liz posted this and I just loved it right off the bat. I got like an XL. It's so comfortable. It's so perfect. Right now I just have a white joggers on, white sneakers, white socks, and then the little turtleneck on under it. I also have another jacket right here that can actually get away with being navy or, bl or blue, I mean navy or black. If I wear it with black, it looks black, but if I wear it with navy, it looks navy. Um, so I could definitely like throw this on on top and it would look really cute too. So this one I'm obsessed with, it's so comfortable. I haven't taken it off since I got it. All right, and then next sweatshirt is Jayla Studios. So my best friend, she actually drew these and got them onto the shirt. Jayla Studio, embroidered, super dope. Um, I have it on with leggings and combat boots. Um, definitely get like a badass vibe from this, so 
combat boots. Um, I also could toss on like my leather trench and it just kind of looks like a black hoodie, but it's so comfortable, so soft. It's like the perfect hoodie. Um, can head out like this, like a black beanie on top with a cool or just like a black hat. Probably like, perfect for winter, but this sweatshirt is literally like such good quality. I love it. It's like one of those sweatshirts I hang up in my closet. Like it has like a special hanger rather than like my other, my other sweatshirts are just like folded up and like scattered everywhere. This one hangs up. So that's my girl, Jessie. I'm gonna tag the Instagram here and I'll put the Instagram below. It's super dope. Uh, the whole concept of it is essentially a mix between art, music, and fashion. So each, um, they're called studio sweats. So this one's based off the song Roses, like, Roses, bana, 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 bana. you know that one? <laughs> um, but, so they're all meant to be like tied together with that. So the whole um, basis is based off of music, but like with style and then like her, her art that she makes. So all in all, super dope. And then I'm gonna go through my other sweatshirts, but they're all like very basics. So I might not like show outfits just because they're pretty standard, but I will walk through those next. <laughs> All right, so next sweatshirt I have is my Lacuna sweatshirt. Um, it's, where is it? Champion, and it's an extra, like extra, extra large. So it's super oversized, but I'm obsessed with having oversized crew necks because they're perfect with leggings, sneakers, and a hat, or just like wearing around, like they're just perfect. The hood doesn't like get all up in your grill, so I personally like an oversized crew. So my Lacuna hoodie, and then I have this Nike zip up. It zips all the way up to like up here, um, but I don't even know where I got this from. I think I got it like thrifting or something, but I had the exact same one in black, which also I think I got thrifting. They're both like two sweatshirts that I'm not actually sure where they came from. Like I actually have no clue. <laughs> I just like have had them for so long that I'm just like yeah these are just mine um, but I have black one and a Nike and a gray one and um, perfect hoodies like just perfect zip ups I wear them like off the shoulder usually like really bunched up um, but I really like those and then I have my two purple sweatshirts so not one but two I have two purple sweatshirts um, this one is from Topshop crew neck it's like a beautiful color I really wanted like a lavender um, sweatsuit like during quarantine but I couldn't find the, any bottoms so I ended up just getting the top but I never wear it so I wish I had bottoms that match so I'm trying to sell this because it is so cute but I don't need two purple sweatshirts <laughs> and then this sweatshirt is from Newport Rhode Island um, my friends got this for me when we were there it's the softest sweatshirt like ever. Like it's, I can't even explain it. And it has thumb holes. Thumb holes are the freaking best. Um, it's like not that flattering though. So I don't really wear it like unless I'm wearing it around the house, but it is really comfortable. So that's why I hang on to it, but it's not the most flattering of sweatshirts. Um, and then I have this one. So still in the colors um, from Free People. So I saw this in the store and I was like, I don't know about the colors, but like I need the style. It looks so comfortable. I'm going to put this one on because it needs to be shown. Okay, she's on. So it's like super oversized and like ripped kind of at to up top. And then it's like super flowy and it's got like a hood and like these like balloon sleeves. But it's like just so comfortable. I love wearing it around the house. It, my hair is doing crazy things today. Um, <laughs> I, it's definitely something like I would never have thought that I would buy, but I just, I don't know. It was like midst of quarantine and it was like only like 25 bucks or something for like, it was free people, so it's comfortable. Um, and then I have this sweatshirt from Uniqlo. It's like a perfect cream color, like it's not super white. Um, and it's not super oversized, 
I like that it's like got these little panels on the side. I love this for layering. So like this underneath like a jacket or a shacket, it looks like so just like tasteful and good. So I will show you, <laughs> I will show you this one. So like see, it just like is perfect for layering. It just like goes really well underneath it. So like this shacket, which can be black or white, um, leggings, and then like Converse, it's probably like roughly how I would wear it. Um, or like just white sneakers or even combat boots with this outfit. Versatile actually, <laughs> could really be anything. All right, and my last one, I'm like surrounded by sweatshirts. The last one is my comfort color white crew neck that is also like an XX. X, L, could be a dress actually. Um, I could wear this without pants. So there's that. <laughs> but, so in the beginning of quarantine, I wanted like an extra large sweatshirt. Mostly because when I went for walks, this is so sad, like being a girl. When I went for walks, I didn't have any sweatshirts that were like long enough that I felt like covered my entire body because I just didn't want to go for walks in anything that was like form-fitting at all, which is like so scary and sad, but it's true. So I was looking for like something super, super oversized. So I bought this gray one and I wore it legitimately every single day of quarantine. It was actually disgusting. I literally like wore it for like three days straight, then I'd go for a, like a walk in it, and then I'd like sleep in it, and then I would like go for a run in it and like sweat in it, and then I'd have to wash it. And then I just wear it again. Like, I loved it. <laughs> I didn't want to take it off. It was so comfortable. And it was, like, cheap, too. I forget what it was, but I found it on some site, which I'll link them. I literally will buy this sweatshirt for the rest of my life. Um, but since that one I wore so much, got so gross in the, mat the midst of, like, two, three months. Like, I don't even know. That I had to get another one. So I got a white one. And still like just love it. It's perfectly oversized and comfortable and like again I can wear it with leggings and like a hat and like sneakers. Um, I wear this around the house all the time. Like I'll wear it with my white sweats and this. So I have like a little white sweatsuit. Um, but it's just perfect and so comfortable and I think everyone should have one of these <laughs> to be honest. But whew, that was a lot of work. That was a lot of like changing. The reason I wanted to do like a hoodie collection is because I genuinely mostly wear sweatshirts. That's like 90% of my style. And I was trying to think of like other cute like winter ideas and stuff. And like maybe I will make a winter like outfit like haul. But I do think it's like similar to like fall but just like with jackets. Um, so honestly like most of my winter haul style will be like sweats and stuff. But to be honest it's winter so like that's what people want to wear anyways so that's my hoodie collection I will tag everything I can in the description below I'm not sure like I'll be able to find all of these because I've had these forever but um I'll definitely be able to find like some of them if not maybe all of them um but yeah there's a lot one thing about sweatshirts is like I wish I didn't have so many simply because I wish I could just get more but I'm gonna try to like halt that a little bit because like sweatshirts do take up a lot of space and like there's no way I can wear all of them like I repeat I repeat the same like three sweatshirts for like two months and then I stop wearing those and then start wearing other ones um there's just so many like dope sweatshirts out there <laughs> like it's I want so many of them they just are so like Lot, there's a lot of like small like creatives that make like really cool designs and stuff like that and like hoodies are just cool and essential and so I wish I could buy just million millions of more hoodies but I can't <laughs> um all right well thank you for tuning in if you got this far can you like just like drop a like drop an emoji or something that really means so much to me and just like drop something like drop your favorite emoji just because I'm curious <laughs> um but thank you so much for tuning in i really appreciate it make sure you are subscribed and follow me on instagram at layla jane Slot, and i will see you not tomorrow but the day after tomorrow <laughs> bye <laughs>